this video, we are going to uh, discuss what a uh, functionally complete set of operators is. Okay, that's functionally complete. Set of operators. Uh, and the idea here is uh, we have uh, we are talking in this case about binary operators which uh, are on uh, Boolean algebra and uh, Boolean algebra has many different uh, instantiations that we care about such as predicate logic. Predicate logic is an instance of a Boolean algebra uh, so we have in predicate logic operators like And or implication by conditionally and not and so on. And we use these operators to write uh, expressions in predicate logic, right? Or equivalently in Boolean algebra. Um, and uh, we might take variables such as x, y, and z, and so on, and write things like x when i and i if and only if. Z implies X, um, or I'm just inventing something here, or X uh, and not um, R, something like that. So we use these operators in predicate logic to write expressions like this. Um, now, the question I want to pose is are those all? those operators really necessary. We all know that we can write different expressions that have exactly the same truth table, right? So uh, we could write, for example, uh, x and not y, um, or x and y, or um, um, not x and y, and we all know that this is an expression in disjunctive normal form which represents um, a function in two variables which function. Let's write the truth table and figure it out. So, this is enforcing three rows in the truth table being y. Which rows? Uh, the one where x is 1 and y is 0, so this one this one is this one, and this one is this one, and so this one is zero. So this is a function that has exactly um, three rows being one. Now it's very clear that this and the function x or y, which is much simpler uh, to write, they both have the same truth table, right? So the point I'm trying to make is that many different functions many different uh, expressions in predicate logic could represent exactly the same function with exactly the same truth table. So we might ask ourselves when we look at uh, an expression like this, well, it has operators like this and this, are they really necessary? Or is it the case that we could always rewrite this expression using only some limited number of operators? Could we? Well, we already know that we can, right? Because we know that we can go from any truth table and write an expression in Boolean algebra or equivalent in predicate logic that has exactly this truth table using only and, or, and not, right? So if instead of going from the expression to the truth table, we wanted to do it the opposite way. So suppose we wanted to write some of those. Let, let's let's do some simple functions in just two variables to, to, to get the idea. So suppose we, we have the operator implication. Right? We know that this is uh, that this is true everywhere except on this row, uh, and uh, so that's the truth table for the expression x implies y. Now, Q 
can we write this using only ands, ors, and nots, and without using this operator at all? Well, we know we can, right? Because we know how to go from a truth table to an expression in the disjunctive normal form. So we can just write, well, this thing is going to be exactly equivalent to uh, row 0 or row 1 or row 3, right? That's going to be um, x and y or uh, not x um, and y or um, not x. I did this in, in, in the opposite order, but you get the idea, right? So uh, this is not x, not y. And this is x and y. So this is row zero. This is row one. This is row three. And of course, row uh, two is not included. So this, and, and, and this symbol here is a, a logical equivalent, right? It can be understood as has the same truth table as in this context, right? So this expression has exactly the same truth table as this expression. Uh, and this one, um, which I wrote in Boolean algebra, but we might as well have written in predicate logic um, as a not x and not y or not x and y or x and y um, This represents exactly the same as that, but it only uses not and and or right? so I only used those three operators here to write this and so I, I don't really need this operator to write a boolean function any function that uses this operator can be rewritten instead with only those and in fact any function at all right you could do the same for any function no matter how complicated it's going to have some truth table, and in the, we could do that also for functions of more variables. Way for don't doesn't matter how many variables. It's going to have some expression. This it's going to have some truth table. From the truth table, we can generate a representation in this disjunctive normal form, which is going to be like this: an OR of all the lines that are ones. Each uh, row is going to be represented by a product or an end of uh, literals, of uh, variables or negation, so we only really need n or a not to write any function. What that, uh, the name that we give to this um, property of n or a not taken together is, we say that this set of operators is functionally complete, right? So this set here of operators, not n or Taken together, this set is enough to write any function. How? Write, proof, write the, the truth table, the truth table, write the DNF expression that represents this truth table. No matter what function you have, you can write like this. You don't really need the other operators. They are there for your convenience, but they are not really needed. So, that in a nutshell is the concept of functionally complete. And this is an example of a functionally complete set of operators. Right? One which alone is enough to represent any function.